video we will be talking about the complement activation pathway that is the classical pathway of complement activation let's look at that complement classical pathway begins with when there is an antibody interacting with the cell surface proteins of a pathogen which could be a protein or any other carbohydrate molecule on the surface of bacteria now in this process first antibody attaches to those target proteins on the surface of pathogen there it comes the first complement protein that is c1 which involved with c1q r and s three different protein subunits now in this case c1q is uh, the structural unit and s and r are the enzymatic subunit of this protein while c1 r and s will do the job of cleavage and production of other complement activations c1q will do the job of anchorage so here comes the c1q with the help of c1q it can interact with the antibody that is present on the surface now the antibody could be different type for example here you see igm and igg igm here it is a pentameric antibody so we have multiple regions of interaction by cq so that's much desirable for cq to interact while igg is not pentameric so in that case more than one igg molecule will be required for activating the complement process by c1q attachment now let's say c1q attaches there then c1q changes its conformation and c1r also changes its conformation and finally conformation change to c1s then c4 complement protein which is a globular protein containing a thioester bond inside it will comes in it will be cleaved by this qrs into c4a and c4b this 4b portion is released and 4a portion will be diffused this 4a is normally this acting as a anaphylotoxin while c4b contains a thioester bond this thioester bond is normally inactive it can be easily cleaved by any sort of nucleophilic activity normally the nucleophilic activity is brought about by the water molecule which can cleave c4b thioester bond and forms a functionless protein in the serum but sometimes c4b when it is present near to the cell membrane antibody or the cell surface protein can cleave this thioester bond leading to the formation of a covalent bond between the c4b and the cell surface of the target bacteria and in this case c4b is anchored then c2a comes in it's cleaved again into c2a and c2b c2a is diffused and c2b is taken and it will be adhered to the c4b now we have c4b and c2b complex together this c4b and c2b complex together have a tendency to cleave c3 complement that's why it's known as c4b c2b complex or c3 converted because both of them has a enzymatic activity to cleave c3 it's known as a c3 converted of the classical pathway now c3 will come in and c4b c2b complex will cleave c3 it has the same type of structure like c4b now once c3 is cleaved c3a is diffused c3b again with the thioester link can be present it can be hydrolyzed by water but normally as c3b is very close proximity with the cell membrane some of the cell membrane surface protein can cleave this thioester linkage with nucleophilic attack and it can form a covalent linkage between c3b by this fashion c3b is anchored on the surface of the target bacterial membrane by this fashion c4b c2b complex can cleave many c3 into c3b and so on the c3b start complexing and attaching themselves with the surface of the target pathogen this kind of concludes the process of classical pathway as after this process all those c3b can finally activate c5 because c3b c4b c2b together can act as a c5 converters which can cleave c5 into c5b and c5a 
let's look at that here it comes c3 this is c5 converters yes it converts a lot of c3b c2b and c4b c5 converters cleaves those c5 in c5 comes into the place it's cleaved into c5a which is diffused and c5b now the c5b keeps attached with the c3b complex there which is near to the cell membrane of the target pathogen then it will recruit many different types of complement proteins called c6 c7 and c8 here c7 and c8 are having a hydrophobic region which help them to be embedded in throughout the cell membrane of the target pathogen then it will recruit another set of proteins known as c9 a lot of c9 proteins will be embedded throughout the cell membrane to form a channel or a pore known as membrane attack complex once the membrane attack complex is formed as a result of this pore formation ions start releasing from the cell outside the cell as a result the cell will start to die due to the result of osmotic imbalance 